Here is a case of RIRS surgery. The ureteric orifice is medial, goal fold type, is not suitable for RIRS primarily. But when we did, there are two stones, one is in the middle calyx, one is in the lower calyx. Ideal case for RIRS, see how medial, goal fold type of ureter. Easily the guide wire has gone. The ureter Troscope has gone easily, very accommodable ureter, up to upper end I could go easily. So, access sheath should go in such cases easily. See the ureter, directly into the kidney I have gone. So, I passed a guide wire, then I passed directly fan sheath. Female patient, I thought I will try. Then, this is a normal kink that happens. If the ureteric orifice is not uh, uh, receptive, then immediately I realized this is not a case for fans. Then I changed to normal sheath. Normal sheath also has not gone. Then I have inserted the access sheath over the visual operator technique. That is 4 by 6.5 ureteroscope access sheath. Now because this access sheet is normal access sheet. That means 9.5 by 11.5 access sheet cook, which we use routinely. And it is only 25 centimeters, which I keep in the mid or lower ureter. I pushed this stone into the upper calyx purposefully. I did a pop dusting. I spent good amount of time because I am not going to do fan suction. Now I am used to fan suction. So I feel unhappy to leave all this powder. So I have spent enough time to make powder. But some small fragments will be there. All these years, those small fragments, we used to leave it to nature to pass off. They usually pass off also. I am not saying they won't pass off. But at the same time, one or two fragments may be there. They may be seen on ultrasound. Now, I have inserted at the end fans access sheath. It has gone very easily. Reason being, this ureteric orifice is straightened. The entrance of the ureteric orifice is straightened. Entrance of the ureteric orifice is dilated. Now see the luxury of these small powder sucking out. And at the end, two, three fragments were there. These fragments. They are very small actually. But when they are sucked out through the access sheet, you will feel very happy that on table you are giving a better and much better clearance. So my message is sometimes when ureter is, entire ureter is nice and one area you are struggling because of the obliquity, you can do with primary RIRS, especially our technique of a visual operator with a, um, ureteroscope is very good. See, this is the powder at the end, which we might have left inside. And these are small fragments. And these are the things uh, uh, with experience we can try. But if the ureter is not adequate entire thing, you cannot do this type of surgery. Even sometimes RIRS primary, even sometimes normal sheath also cannot be inserted. This is only at the ureteric orifice problem, so we share it. Thank you.